Hello, welcome to the demo of FitIQ. FitIQ is an app which uses generative AI to curate customized and personalized workout plans and diet plans for your needs. So let us go over and look at have a look at the code. This is the main.py file. This the whole main page is constructed and now we are going to run the file. So here you can see FitIQ, it is an AI fitness trainer that uses generative AI, NLP and also computer vision to track your progress and give personalized and specific recommendations. So let us have a look at our website. This is entirely made in Flask and Python along with NLP and everything. So first the basic part is workout music. So you can have a look at any workout music through our website and then we go on to a podcast so a lot of people like to listen to podcasts when they're working out so we also have an option for that and next we go on to the tutorials tab so here you can have the major exercises like bicep curls squats and if you click on watch video you can find out in every information about the specific exercise how to do it with proper form and now let us go back and if you want to learn more about any specific exercise you can go to the exercise tab and you can have a look at the specific exercise and all the benefits and everything is mentioned very clearly along with the proper form as you can see on the screen so this is the train uh, start training tab here we have used computer vision to track proper form and the reps will only be counted if the form is proper else the reps will not be counted so the, that deployment we'll see at the end of the presentation so for now let us go on to our main one of the main functionalities that is fitbot this is an entirely uh, fitness trained bot basically it has every information related to fitness mental health physical health any query can be answered we have used apis so you can message our fitbot we have completely trained it on physical fitness mental fitness and all the related stuff so let's say you want to ask any message to fitbot for example hi so the normal response is how can i assist you today let's say i want to lose 10 kg that is a bit more how to lose 10 kg in two months for example so i'm going to type how to lose 10 kg in two months and then it's supposed to give me a proper output so the response which i've got is hi there if you're looking to lose 10 kg in two months i can help you with that the key to weight loss is a combination of regular exercise and a healthy diet that is true so it suggests ca cardio exercises strength training and also high intensity interval training and now it is also asking me if it if i would like a customized routine so i can say yes please i would like a uh, customized routine after having a look at the basic steps so now if i type yes please so then i should be getting a response okay so it is asking if i have any injuries or any allergies or any preferences so i'll write i'll just write no injuries and we'll see what we get so I've, I've given no injuries so it says great to hear that you don't have any injuries so based on that again it suggests the same similar things and now it, at the end of the thing it suggests it is important to stay hydrated and support your overall fitness journey so if any more help is required the fitbot is always available to help you okay so i've just said thanks to the fitbot and it says good luck with your fitness journey to lose 10 kg you've got this so we have also added a little more hum human type interactions and we have trained the bot so it helps a little more like human in human interaction next we have cal nutrition calorie tracker in this you can add any number of dishes or number of meals for example let's say i take two let's say i type in two to three meals the first meal let's say i'm having chicken so it will say how much chicken per serving and then the calories and totally calories consumed so this can be very helpful if you want to track and if you are on a calorie deficit which we'll be discussing further if you're in a calorie deficit what to do yes so i've selected bacon and eggs next so it says 539 calories and per serving so i've taken only one serving that means 539 calories let us add one more food just to see how our graph comes so yes and now you can see on the screen there is a graph telling the total calories total calories is 1178 and the calorie breakdown so instead of having textual output we thought we'll include some graphs so that it is more engaging so as you can see we can let us have a closer look bacon and eggs contribute to 45.8 percent of the total calorie intake cottage pie is 44 and chicken breast is 9.85 so you can see chicken breast is low in calories but high in protein so you can find out whatever the requirements is now we go on to our last or one of the last parts of our presentation that is Fit Genie. It is a fitness plan. It, this is basically part two of our main functionalities. So here we have Fit Genie. It, 
you just need to input your height your weight and your aim in your fitness journey so let me input my height 175 weight and then i'm going to choose let's say maintain fitness i want to stay fit so it will generate a personalized fitness plan which consists of two things one is workout plan so it suggests three days per week each workout should be 60 minutes long and then it says everything 20 minutes of cardio 10 minutes of stretching day one day two day three and so on you can have a look at all the suggested workout plan it also suggests a main thing which is diet a key thing which everyone forgets so it gives out the suggested cal calorie intake if you want to maintain a calorie deficit it will give lesser calories if you're planning to lose weight for example and then we also have sample meals one cup of meal one banana honey bre basic breakfast yeah so breakfast lunch dinner everything is pre-planned for you you don't have to do a lot of market research the bot is really well trained to give you everything you need in your fitness journey so yes this was the fit genie and now we move on to the last part of our fit iq app that is the rep counter as i said using computer vision so other uh, technologies which were used were nlp and gen coder generative ai so now we have computer vision which we'll be using this is the last part of our thing so this is output so this is the model which we have trained so we have used media pipe media pipe is a python framework so we have used that to track different points and joints of the body so as you can see here different joints are being tracked and now if we run the program the camera turns on and now you can see if the proper form is there then only the rep will be counted and we also have which activity we are detecting so if the proper form is not there so luckily i am doing with proper form so we can see the counter increasing three four yes and five the true false values just denote the basic change in the relative change in the positions so every true false cycle means the counter will go up by one so now we have we had a look at uh, the push up now we are having a look at the squat for example so the proper form is being maintained by nitish so it's two and three so you can see the true false cycle continues and the counter is being increased okay so this was the basic fit iq app which me uh, abhinav bhat nitish and kirtan and which we have developed for the anz hackathon so thank you for uh, watching and this was our app you can have a look at the github link in the description and also the product demo this is the product demo video we have also attached our project report and all the technologies that we have used so yes thank you for watching and we'll see you next time